So this video covers division with trailing zeros, problem one, type one. Um, this is definitely one of the Alex topics that you will need to cover in this course. So in order to introduce that, let's first talk about long division. So long division is dividing numbers by hand to get a remainder. I know that calculators exist, but some professors won't let you have a calculator all the time. So you're going to need to know how to do this stuff by hand, and I'm going to show you how. That's my job. So if the number that we're dividing is our dividend. We're dividing that by a divisor. And what we get when we divide those numbers is a quotient, right? How many times uh, our divisor goes into our dividend. And we're left with a remainder. And sometimes the remainder is zero, right? And that means the numbers divided each other perfectly. Um, but that's not always the case. So for a quick example, two does not divide nine evenly to get a whole number, right? There's always going to be a remainder of one because nine's odd and two's even. So I'd have four times two plus one, that's nine, right? So we divide the dividend by the divisor to find the quotient and the remainder. So let's practice long division on these next two examples. It is an iterative process, meaning that it repeats itself. So I guess I should talk through this example. So how many times does 32 fit into 4? Well, it doesn't, but 32 does fit into 48, right? They pulled down the second number. It fits in once, right? Uh, that's not what that means. It fits in once, right? So then we subtract 48 minus 32, that gives us 16. And then we pull down the next digit. That's always part of it. Okay, so then we have 5 times 32, that gives us 160. We subtract with a remainder of 7. So I'm going to do that more neatly, um, but I wanted to have one typed out example for you. Thank you, calculator soup. So I have 2,800 divided by 7. So I'm going to set up, so this is my divisor. This is my dividend. So I say, okay, how many times does 7 fit into 2? Well, it doesn't. 0 times 7 is 0. I subtract, I get a 2, and then I pull down the next digit. How many times does 7 fit into 28? 7 fits into 28 four times. 4 times 7 is um, 28. When I subtract, I get 0. Well, what does that mean? Well, that means it divided evenly, right? So there's two ways to do this. So one, you could just keep pulling down your terms and say, okay, how many times does seven go into this zero? Well, that's zero. Zero times seven is zero, subtract. And then pull down the next one, right? But that seems like a little like redundant. Or what I always was taught in school is you could just move them up top now. Like once you get a remainder of zero, like you're done. You know it divides perfectly. So the correct answer for this, if we move both these zeros up, would be 400. And you can always check your answer by multiplying. 7 times 400 does equal 2,800, so we're in pretty good shape. Let's try another problem, and we'll just move those zeros to the top. So I have 3,200, so 3,200 divided by 16. Well, 16 doesn't fit into 3, so I could look at this next digit as well, right? 16 fits into 32 twice. 2 times 16 is 32. Subtract. 32 minus 32 is 0. Okay, so I know then that I can move these zeros to the top, and my final answer is 200.